Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha'Allah. Kuholoyim la, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chachadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to our Yuakim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes and commandments of Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. My name is Yachanan Nawaf. Just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. I wanted to just do a little touch up or a little update on um, these wars, rumors of wars. Uh, you got the Hathis in Israel going at it. This is a video from this. I want to play this. And also um, another little news article that I have to just show that, hey, we're in the last days, man. These prophecies are playing out. These are part of the prophecies that, you know, I mean, they all go together, whether they, whether they seem like they're small or big. And the scriptures talks about... Um, being not ignorant of any matter, whether a great or a small. And also, before I get this video, let me get, let's start with this scripture real quick. Second address in the Apocrypha, chapter 9. Start at verse 1. And it says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen up earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So he told us to measure the times diligently. How you measure the times diligently is you're constantly looking at the news. You're constantly matching it with what the scripture says. It's not like, you know what I'm saying, um... You shouldn't be, you know, um, um, getting up every day and not at least seeing some news. I mean, some of it, at least, golly, you know, you, you can, you, you know, you how, how can you go the whole week without knowing anything that's going on in the news? You know what I'm saying? Or scrolling through the news or checking your um, news channels. I mean, the men of the Lord as watchmen, we can't do that. We have to continually watch. So he said to measure out the time diligently. One of the things that we know that will be happening in the end days that he spoke of is these wars, rumors of wars. And that Israel is the least of the flock and Israel is going to draw all the other um, um, nations pretty much into this war. World War Three, man, which is going to be the last war. Now, I know the apostles been going in on, um, you know, um, with the, the uh, brother Hassad from, um, well, formerly of um, Sakari. Because he, he's saying basically that, you know, after the U.S. is destroyed, Russia is going to um, rule for a, a, a little bit of time. And that's not true. You know, this this is going to be the last war, man. This is going to be it. You know, because it's going to be so detrimental to the United States that it's going to um, destroy pretty much the entire global economy anyway. You know, because America is that, that stronghold on, you know, pretty much the goods. To, I mean, if this place goes down the way the scripture says it's going down, and it's going to happen because the words of the Lord would not return to him void. Ain't going to be no more nothing going on out here man the lord is coming through the wreck shop man and take up the crowns off the heads of these these kings so to speak but anyway and also there was an earthquake too in um i want to say brazil a pretty nice one um that, that's another thing that would be uh happening in the end days as well but let's let's just let's get some of this real quick um and we'll run through the scriptures as far as what yahweh Shai said in matthew 24 because that's what's happening but let's play a little bit of this right here Lucky. I was thinking they were going to get into uh, speaking on it just a little bit, but let's get this one. Its air defense system has intercepted a missile fired from Yemen before it could enter Israeli airspace over the southern region of Elat. The attack comes after Israeli fighter jets carried out airstrikes on Saturday on the Houthi controlled port of Hudaydah in Yemen. Houthi state media says three people were killed and dozens injured when Israel struck oil storage facilities and a power plant. It is the first time Israel has responded directly to what it says have been hundreds 
hundreds of Yemeni drones and missiles aimed at its territory. The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says the operation shows Israel would reach its enemies no matter where they are. From the beginning of the war, I made it clear that Israel would harm anyone who harms us. And so earlier today, I convened the political security cabinet. I asked them to support the decision I brought to attack the Houthi targets in Yemen. The port we attacked is not an innocent port. It was used for military purposes. It was used as an entry point for deadly weapons supplied to the Houthis by Iran. Well, let's now speak to, that was Benjamin Netanyahu, let's now speak to our correspondent in Jerusalem, Barbara Plett Usher. Barbara, this is a very important turning point, these direct attacks on the Houthis, isn't it? Yes, it is quite significant for its implications in terms of the wider regional conflict because the Houthis uh, have been firing uh, uh, missiles and drones at Israel uh, because of the Gaza war in solidarity with the Palestinians, they say. And these, uh, these strikes or these attacks um, haven't really created any damage because they've been intercepted, most of them. But now they hit Tel Aviv last week uh, and killed somebody. And this is why the Israelis have responded um, with the first time they've had this direct attack uh, against against Yemen. Uh, and the Yemenis have responded by saying, or the Houthis have responded by saying, we will meet escalation with escalation. So the Israelis have a, a greater threat on their northern border from uh, the Hezbollah in Lebanon. Uh, but both of these groups, Hezbollah and the Houthis, are backed by Iran. So the Israelis see this as a wider conflict with Iran that's being fought on different fronts. And now this front with the Houthis in Yemen has flared up. Uh, and created a more dangerous situation. And the wider context, of course, is these attacks on ships in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. Well, when the Houthis started um, responding to the Gaza war, which was uh, shortly after the Hamas attacks in October, they began by targeting the ships in the Red Sea, as you said, off the coast of, of Yemen. Uh, they said that they were targeting Israeli-owned or israeli <laughs> although they have hit uh, other ships, many other ships as well, including those that are associated with the U.S. and the U.K. Uh, and those strikes um, have not created a, a huge amount of damage, although they have uh, sunk at least two vessels and killed at least three sailors. Um, and they, as the, the Americans and Britain responded with joint strikes against Houthi uh, military assets uh, within Yemen, trying to deplete them of their, of their weapons. But in fact, those strikes have continued and picked up pace in June, uh, and they, they seem to be getting more sophisticated, so the belief is that they are getting more and better weapons from Iran, and this is why uh, the, the port was chosen as a target by the Israelis. They said that they, the port was a, a way that the uh, Houthis were getting shipments of weapons from Iran. And Okay, so you can see all that mix up, because pretty much, you know, they've been, you know, trying to get at Iran for a long time, you know, uh, so we'll see how that works out but that pretty much that's who they're trying to really get at that's who they want the u.s to really strike because again these these israelis man they're gonna <laughs> can't get around it man they're they gonna draw everybody into this fight man and since they've been in that land you know it's supposed to be prophetic that when the children of israel go back into the land there will be no more wars but it's been nothing but wars since they've been there for the past 75 years or so. So they don't fit the prophecies actually. Um, yeah, it's about to get grimy out here. And, and they about to get to um, uh, uh, doing a lot of drafting too. Matter of fact that next article I want to get. Let me get this real quick. Jeremiah 49 and 20 it says. Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord. Yahweh. That he hath taken against Edom. Which is the so called white man man. And his purposes. That he had purposed against the inhabitants of Timon. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out, which is Israel. Surely he shall make their habitat their habitations desolate with them. So they're gonna get drawn into a war because these people just hey, I mean it's just it's prophetic anyway. It's prophetic anyway, but you know, you can clearly see that war is not gonna stop because there's just too much money at it. America's been at war for like 250 years straight damn near they've never had a, 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 a you know a, a time of peace 
you think America has ever gone 10, um, 10 years, 20 years in a row or 30 years in a row without having a confrontation with somebody? These people, they, they everywhere. They got like 800 military bases all over the world. And it's just old Rome, man. And, and they're spreading themselves too thin. And they're not going to be able to fight um, Russia, China, um, or North Korea. Uh, you know, these BRICS nations and got together because they're sick of America and, and, and the money system and all this other stuff. So it's stuff is starting to break down, man. But let me get this other article real quick. I'll try and uh, maybe if we can go off into uh, what was talking about um, the earthquakes. Because there are earthquakes. That's a part of the, um, the, the last day's prophecies as well. I know um, brothers don't really touch on it as much because, you know, generally, if it's not a lot of people being deleted, a lot of the times they don't even report on a lot of these earthquakes, man. You know, if you're not watching alternative news, you're not going to really hear about them because I haven't heard anything about this one. I seen it the day before yesterday. I think it was, though. But anyway, let's get some of this. It says NATO has a half a million troops at high readiness amid Russia threat. Right. This is by David Brenham Newsweek. Uh, about 10 hours ago, I guess they put they put it out. NATO is holding a half a million troops at high readiness to to guard against the looming risk of war with Russia. The alliances took the, the alliances top spokesperson has said since 2014, NATO has undergone the most significant transformation in our collective defense in a generation. NATO spokesperson Farah Daklala told CNN in an article published Sunday, we have put in place the most comprehensive defense plan since the Cold War with currently more than 500,000 troops at high readiness. NATO was seeking to bolster its preparations, both practically, um, both practical and perceived in the face of looming threat from Russia, where President Vladimir Putin and his top allies already say they are engaged in a direct clash with the U.S. led collective West. Of course, it's pretty much. Yeah, 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 man. It's, it's the, um, you know, the beginning of sorrows. Some allied states are considering reintroducing mandatory military service. See? What do you think they about to they about to start drafting, man? They about to start drafting. These they, 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 uh, these U.S. citizens don't want to go to the American Army, man. They they they're not um the, the the enlistment recruitments are low. Nobody wants to go, and even in in these other countries, hell, it was people, man. They was um, grabbing people off the streets over in Ukraine. You know, they, they know people didn't want to go to war. They they already knew what was going to happen to the asses. A lot of those Russians didn't want to go neither. So, you know, the patriotism for, from these European um, countries, man, it, it's not what it used to be. These people used to charge in the war, man. They couldn't wait to go and um, serve their country. You're not getting that out of these people no more. So they're going to force it. It says, while several of those already practicing conscription, including some nations bordering Russia, have been expanding intake, intensifying trainings and building equipment stockpiles. What do you think all this is for, man? Around a third of NATO members have some form of compulsory military service. Some allies are weighing up conscription. However, as an alliance, we do not prescribe mandatory military service. But they're going to do it. She added. And she ain't even got no business there. You know, what the scripture says about a woman usurping authority over the man. Incredible. And here you go. You got um your, your VP, your vice president. Kamala Harris in the runnings for president of the United States. That lady should, shouldn't even be there, man. Anyway, but hey, I, 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 I hope she win. Just so the, the, the real disorder can really take place. Because that's going to be all kinds of chaos and disorder if she's off, if she gets in there. It says, however, and, and also, yeah, if she, you know, she, you know, she's, she pillow talking with her, uh, you know, her, her small hat husband. I wouldn't be surprised, man, if they don't puppet her ass right on up off in there. Go ahead and get everything else popping. Civil War, the whole nine. Because she, because she, 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 she's, she's going to be, uh, if she's not already one, I'm, I'm pretty, a direct worker for Israel. <laughs> Straight up. Her husband going to be telling her exactly what they need done, whatever, what, who knows, man. That's just me speaking as a man, but it ain't looking good. Anyway. However, as an, as an alliance, we do not prescribe mandatory military service. 
The important thing is that allies continue to have capable armed forces to protect our territories and our populations. And I bet you ain't none of their kids or children going. They're not sending their um, um, nieces, nephews and all that. They're they not going, man. NATO has been struggling to mobilize its massive military and industrial might since Russia's direct aggression against Ukraine began in 2014. Because they, they want to go and, um, you know, they want to they want to set up shop in that bitch. They trying to, you know. They trying to they want to put them the missiles on that man's border. Because they want Ukraine to be a part of um, NATO. It says the initial allied response to an annexation of Crimea and the occupation of parts of Dumbas region was criticized by Kiev and elsewhere as hesitant and insufficient. Moscow's full scale invasion of Ukraine from February 2022 and the subsequent war of attrition had laid bare NATO's limitations. With the alliance, particularly the non-U.S. members, struggling to meet the needs of Ukraine's military. The lack of air defense systems. Artillery shells have been particularly areas of weakness for the Western Bloc. And thus for Ukraine, which has become reliant on its foreign backers. See that? But y'all, but, but remember, they was, they was all fronting like how Ukraine was winning and they beating the shit out of Russia. And they've been lying all this time. Here you go. They've been sending all that money and all them, all, all those weapons over there for nothing, man. They've done people getting mince meat, man. They, they they getting slaughtered over there. Okay, it says this month's NATO summit, Washington D.C. saw all 32 allies recommit to expanding aid to Ukraine and bolstering their own military readiness. So, what do you think Russia is gonna do? So this is all leading up to, you know. But it's gonna be really Israel that's gonna that's really gonna pull everything together. It's going to be them, man. Because America, America going eventually going to have to, you know, really super duper step in to help them out. <laughs> and, 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 and I mean, come on, man. You can't fight wars on all these fronts, man. You can't fight all of them on these fronts, man. And Russia got that new nuclear doctrine, man. They ready to they ready to go. They like they feeling like hey, any any threats where you're going to be trying to demolish our population, so to speak. You know, hey, look, any threats like that, any we pushing buttons. So for this to be happening like this and it's getting this close. Now, all we really have to look out for is, of course, Jacob's trouble and um, Revelation 13, 16, Revelation 13, 17. The implants, man. Because no one is going to be able to buy or sell. He that had the mark. You know, but the name of the beast or the number of his name. Hey, you're not going to be able to do anything out here. You're going to be an outcast in society. If you don't take this man's, um, 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 you know, uh, uh, Xbox 360 in you, <laughs> you know, the, the PlayStation 5, man, you know, this man wants to put that thing in you, man. And if you don't comply, you're going to be an outcast from society. And it's going to be all out chaos, man. All this stuff is happening. It's coming. It's got to be soon because these wars are heating up too much. It says, um. But pivotal elections in Europe and in the U.S. this year threatened to derail or at least slow collect collective action with allies particularly concerned about the prospect of a second installment of former President Donald Trump's American first foreign policy transactionalism. So, you know, yeah, Trump come up off in there, man. You know, they they go. Um, you know, he more likely he, 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 he would he'll disband NATO. You know, he'd be talking all kinds of stuff, man. You know, it, you know, it. it He's looking towards keeping, which they should. I mean, shit, they should be keeping the money here. They should be building up in their own country. Your country falling apart and you helping every goddamn body else out. Your own citizens are struggling. You taking money from your own citizens as they're struggling to help other people out, man. That, that shit don't make no sense. And that's the kind of um crowd that pretty much is following um, Donald Trump right now. His crowd wants all these damn immigrants gone. Even though the, the, the jobs that these immigrants do, these so-called white people are not going out there to um, work those jobs. But I guess that's, that's why Trump called them black jobs. You know what black jobs are, you know, cleaning up behind their asses, Why, um, you know, washing the toilet, you know, sweeping floors, uh, 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 you know, wa you know, washing windows. You know what I'm saying? Preparing their meals and washing dishes and shit, you know, keeping, you know, shit clean for them, making their beds and shit. You know, that's what Trump means by trying to get you black. They want to get he wants to make America great again. <laughs> America was probably last great in the 1950s to 60s. 
And guess where Negroes was? Being chased down by dogs and water hoses being sprayed on the asses. Marching. Still marching to this very day. Anyway, um, yeah, that's going to make a difference right there if Trump wins that election. So that's why we're saying, and we already know these are um, selections and not elections. So we're going to see, man. And it's only a few months, man. I would say, you know, hey, pr pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for preparations, man, to be prepared, to be to have exactly what you need and, and to have, you know, to sustain yourself, so to speak, because there could come a, 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 a just just nothing you can do, man. Ain't going to be no getting out and about. Ain't going to be no, you know, no, a, ain't no telling what the fuck is about to happen in this place, man, because civil wars already um, is on the plate as well to go along with the other wars, rumors of wars. But let's get what Yahweh said. Yeah. Matthew 24 and 3, it says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? So the disciples, they was curious, like, what, what's going to be happening? And the Lord gave them a rundown. And Yahweh Shai, that's the true name of the, the, the Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, which means he's the Savior or Deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. And the true name of the Father, is Yahweh, Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. Those are the true names of the father and son, not no Jesus, man. There was no letter J 2000 years ago. No one was being called by anything that's, that's got to do with the letter J. The letter J was invented in 1524, 500 years ago. And actually, there's no letter J even in Hebrew. Isn't the, 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 the Lord a Hebrew Israelite? Wasn't he from the tribe? They say Judah, but the tribe of Yahweh. There was no letter J's being called on. No one was calling, hey, baby Jesus, come here. No, it wasn't none of that, man. You got to get those names right. That's another thing. But see, the so-called white man, his whole system is being broken down. He's been running throughout the earth. He's conquered most of the lands that he's in with white Jesus. The idolatrous white Jesus, man. He took the scriptures, whitewashed everything, and used the power of the book to pretty much steal every damn thing that he has. Every land this man is in, he stole it all in the name of white Jesus. It's a damn idol, man. Don't keep nothing that's in the Bible. Anyway, let's move on. Let's let's get these um what the Lord said, right? Verse 4. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. So we you, you gotta take heed so you don't be deceived. Because if you're deceived, then you're gonna get you're gonna, you know, it's not gonna be a good look for you. That's why we we're supposed to watch and pray. So you're not deceived. You see, that's the reason why we do these lessons. So you're not deceived. You you got a heads up. You you know what's going on before the average person do. Because the men of the Lord are doing a lot more reporting than any of these these news stations, pretty much overall, or at least with the truth. Right. It says, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am what well, they say, you know, verbatim here. It says Christ, but it's a Mashiach, the anointed, the Messiah or Mashiach and shall deceive many. Here's the point here. Ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. So these things that's happening, they got to they gotta come to pass. And things, even the rougher things that's about to come, they got to come to pass. So you got Christians, they really praying that the Lord will bless America. And, you know, um, um, let's get all together and let's join hands and, you know, uh, uh, we'll pray for America. No, ain't no praying for Amen. Look, the Lord is... It's already predestinated for this place to be destroyed. It's simple, man. This place is the most wickedest place on the on the planet. And if these Christians was really real, they'll pray for the destruction of this place. They will have to see that. Look, there's no coming back from where this place is at. This place is 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 wicked as hell, man. Can't be no more 25 years of this, man. Can't you know another generation come through after this generation of this place, man? Are you serious? Nothing will survive. The damn, the, uh, all, all these leaders, it, it, it's like a, a, a big ass play in a playground when you look at these leaders and how they be going back and forth with each other. Can't get nothing done. It's all jokes, laughter, and, 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 and just, you know, bar, the, the fuck is just barbaric, man. You got some dude in there, he's slamming down a gavel. Motherfuckers cracking jokes against you. Nobody is serious. 
Those days are through. Those days are gone. Or when um, those men used to be able to sit down on a common cause and, and strike a deal. No, nah, man, ain't none of that shit going on no more, man. They too selfish, too kid like. None of them act like damn adults. You got these old ass men acting like damn kids, man. Anyway. Verse six again. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation. See? And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. See? As a matter of fact, let me see if I can get that. Um, I know I was mentioning that. I think it was an earthquake. And I probably could have stayed in the tube, though. They might have had some footage on it in the tube. Let's see. It's a lock here. Do a little quick search. Earthquakes. I think it was. Damn, was it Chile? Yep, I think it was Chile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was a couple of days ago. It was a uh, seven point four. Man, that's a that's a that's a pretty big um jump off, man. Let's see, we get on this one. Let's see here. And then blocking it. See that commercial? <laughs> they say increase in military pay. Yeah, they trying to get people to um to get in their military, man. Let's see what this popping with this one. Feeling them things coming, man. Well, be well beforehand. Uh, large quake strikes Chile, seven point four. Yep, but it caused a little damage, though. It didn't cause too much damage. Shit, you had a damn earthquake in the Chicago area six days ago. I ain't even hear about that. Let's see this one. Well, did you feel it? Some people in DeKalb County were shaken awake in the early hours of the morning. A 3.4 magnitude earthquake registering just northwest of Somanoc at around 3 this morning. And here to talk more about just how rare of an event this really is, is Ron Reapy, a former geology professor. Thank you so much for being here. Boy, that boy looked like brake lights on, a, on an ambulance, man. Hey, 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 and this Esau, man. This is damn Esau, man. E -A -E the scripture says Esau came out red. Look at that map in the background. Why that map look like the 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 uh, got the facial features kind of looking like white Jesus or somebody? A damn George Washington. See you see that map in the backdrop? It kind of looked like a man's face. You can see the eyes and like a nose and look like he appears to have a beard. And that's supposedly be a map. <laughs> Who knows, man? Maybe I'm tripping. 
But anyway, you can clearly see. See, there's no such thing as so, um, white people. There's different shades of red people, and there's no such thing as black people. You can clearly see that she's a a, a decent um, little brown. And that's all that, that's on the planet, man. Um, brown people and um, different shades of brown people and different shades of red people. There's no such thing as black and white people, man. Those are social constructs that's made up by Esau, the so-called white man as well. So, you know, hey, we can't imagine another another generation of being here, man, with this man's rule. Come on, bro. Hell no. Thank you very much. I was talking to you in the break about this. You know, we spoke about eight months ago about an earthquake at that time that took place in Putnam County. Here we are talking about another earthquake. Is this becoming more of a regular thing here in Illinois? And what's actually causing this? Well, we hope they're not becoming that regular, but you're right. We've had several in this end of Illinois, which is not the most geologically active part of the state. But you're right, the one in Putnam County and then this one um, are along. OK, so you get it. So see, it was multiple one. And, and these things is going on every day, man. A lot more active than people because nobody because they're not being mentioned like that. You know, only only time you, you hear about these earthquakes is when, you know, people actually get deleted. Quite a few people get deleted. Yep, same thing there. Uh. Yeah, that was a pretty good size one, though. It didn't, um... Oh, that was, you know, okay, all right. But anyway, yeah, yeah. We are getting there, man. Um, So you got these wars, rumors of wars. The pestilence. The famines. Hey, hey, people going through it, man, in the world. Again, if you just watching your regular little local Fox, you know, whatever that bullshit, your little local channel news, you ain't gonna get no no real, um... No real um, um, nothing going on, man. They don't get into geopolitics too hard. They're not talking about anything going on in any other countries unless it's Israel. You know, they're not telling you what's going on. You, you just really don't get it like that. You got to get into some alternative um, news cycles, man, to try and get some of this um, to see what's really going on out here in the world. Because the Lord did say, watch and pray. Watch and pray. And this is what we're watching for. We're watching for what he said will be happening. So we'll know how close we are. You know what I'm saying? And warn the flock. You know, that's that's our job, man, is to warn the flock. And so yeah, we we report we report on a lot of this stuff quite often. But we got to. I mean, hey, it's simple. You know, I know um Jake get itching ears and be wanting to hear something more like extravagant, but it's not about that, man. It's about this the, the you know, this doctrine is simple. The Lord is is coming for the children, the elect of the children of Israel. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. His true name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. And he's coming to get us out of the hands of our enemies. And that's the good news. But we have to warn as to what will be happening before he does that. So, um, let's see. What else can we get? Uh, let's get... Um, I say let's just get Romans 13 and 11. Yeah, those wars and rumors of wars, man, is popping up. Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time, and that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Last thing you want is to be... You don't want to be in, in, in full-fledged sin, man, or iniquity when the Lord makes this move, man. You want to you want to push off those works of darkness, man. And you can't do that unless you repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Turn from your wicked deeds, man, and get into this Bible. Get into these scriptures. See what the Lord said to do and what not to do. Now, are we saved by the works of it? You know, No, we're not saved by the works of it. But faith without works is dead. You still have to do some work, you know, to the best of your ability. You keep these law, statutes and commandments, man. You know, but we are saved by what our Lord, Yahweh, done for. I mean, Yahweh Shai done for us. The father, Yahweh, sent his son, Yahweh Shai, to be the ultimate sacrifice for the children of Israel. That's it, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, we can't keep all the laws 100 percent perfectly, but we do our best 
to be pleasing to our Lord. You know what I'm saying? But, um, the, you know, hey, the ultimate thing is Yahweh Shai. That's why we need our Lord. He was the ultimate blood. You can't do it on your own. You got camps that's out here even, you know, running down the, the rundown as if they keeping all the law 100 percent. Like, man, you out your damn destroyed man if you don't repent and you're going to get a lot of people destroyed for teaching that you know so we are definitely in the last of this thing man the beginning of sorrows we're in the last of this thing man hey it's pretty much it's it's, it's hey it's only those few extra things to go ain't no telling what's going to happen you got like four months from this um election ain't no telling what's about to happen no telling what's about to happen in this country, man. Anything could. You just had a damn um. Well, I wouldn't say a blackout, but you. I guess you can call it a blackout. Other than the lights didn't go out, but everything else was down. You know. Hospitals was down. Airports was down. Banks was down. You know anything that had to do with some computer or or pretty much digital uh, uh thing on on a on a um, mass global scale that's in usage. Hey, it was down. Ooh. When when shit like that really happens and, and and it goes on days at a time, a week, two weeks, three weeks, <laughs> and people gonna lose it. People will lose it. They can't handle a day without a cell phone. Kids gonna be screaming and crying and shit. They gonna be aggravated as hell. We're living in some serious times, man. Jim Crow Joe, he done stepped down. Now you got a. Uh, 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 the civil war the egyptian against the egyptian as a matter of fact i was gonna get that one earlier too let me see yeah man y'all better wake up man we, we ain't got much time man what's that uh might have been Yeah, man, about to get grimy out here. And all praises to you, how about Shimei was shy, man? Because these, these things must come to pass. You're just praying we're ready. You want to be ready, man, when everything jumps off. The Lord going to have everybody set, though. Everybody going to play out the lot right. Uh, oh, I probably should have. I probably am typing that wrong. That motherfucking shooting at presidents. <laughs> oh, man, ain't no telling what's going on with that neither, man. Cause, and, and it's crazy. It's, it's not even no talks like that about that, man. Nobody's really um, upset about that. Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And the Egyptians is this modern day, these modern day damn Americans. Because Babylon, this is Babylon the Great. It's known for a few names. Egypt. Because, of course, you have the children of Israel in slavery here. You got the damn pyramid on the back of the fucking dollar. You know, like what what, what the damn pyramid got to do with you Americans? You white people, so-called white people. Then the spiritual Sodom. The A, B, C, D, E, F, G people done, done took control. So it says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and they shall fight everyone, ag everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. We just read that in Matthew 24. The Lord spoke on that kingdom against kingdom and nation against nation. Scripture says that um, a nation divided cannot stand. It actually talks about um, civil war. It actually in the NLT, it mentions civil war. Get that Matthew 12. So, you, so it, it's coming from a few fronts. It's going to be a global thing, man, of just fights. Your own people going to be up against you, man. This motherfucker's probably going to be uh, in the kitchen shooting at, at, at his at his his brother in the damn bedroom <laughs> you know ducking underneath couches and shit man anyway matthew 12 and 25 and yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and replied any kingdom divided any kingdom divided by civil war is doomed a town or family splintered by feuding will fall apart and that's what you're seeing in america this place is too too divided Household to household, there's people arguing and shit. Then you uh, even up to your top scale of your your Democrats and your Republicans, they fighting. 
You got uh your, your your alphabet people fighting against your heterosexual people. You got the damn children against the adults, the adults against the children. You name it, on every scale. Motherfucker like mustard, the other one like ketchup. You know? One like ice in this drink, the other one don't. It's just all over the place. And they will fight with you about about, about your dislikes or your likes. That, that, <laughs> they not they not thinking about, okay, well, that's a human person and they have a right to a, an opinion. No, all that shit is out the window here. Cancel culture is big. This place is through, man. On, on a lot of levels, it's through. There's no morality. Uh, people don't have no respect for each other. The love of many them wax cold. Everybody out here just, you know, trying to stay afloat, struggling. And the people that's not struggling, hell, they, they, you know, they, it's just greed. They want more, have more than enough. That's like these damn Edomites, man. Esau got more than enough. Hey, your Rothschilds, motherfuckers sitting on everything, but yet and still he wants to implant everybody. You know, they, they can never have enough, man. Earth is not enough. They're trying to go to the moon. They want to go to us, uh, damn Mars. They're trying to hit Jupiter. And wherever else they'll go and enslave whatever's there they find. Anyway, I'm going to end out there, man. Definitely last days, man. Definitely last days. This right here is going to be some serious shit right here, too, though. Um, this NATO hookup. So they already got 500 troops amassed. And, 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 and I mean, it ain't nothing, man. Russia ain't going to do nothing. But, you know, they're going to they gonna eventually get to hitting them nuclear buttons, man. That's what it's all boiling down to. <laughs> see russia gonna take a real huge part in the downfall of america but they're not gonna be ruling after um afterwards like you know they're gonna get a little time piece you know a little time period to um no nah, ain't gonna be none of that man this shit is about, about to be a straight rap anyway with that i pretty the lesson was edifying kwame yasola